Remember the old days when you could hack your PlayStation and Game Boy? Endless games and fun. Well, you can also kinda hack After Effects and work a thousand times faster. And who doesn't want that? That way you have more time playing Pokemon Yellow like the real Pokemon fans. Let's not waste any more time and jump right to number one. And this hack is all about selecting layers. I have this huge project with tons of layers and I want to select a bunch of them to offset in time. Now I could waste my precious gaming time and start selecting them manually or I could do the opposite. I only select a few I don't need, I then right click on the selection and choose invert selection. And boom I instantly selected the actual layers I want. Now to extend this hack, let's say I have a null object with a bunch of layers parented to it. Now to make everything orderly, I want to color code the null object and the parented layers. But again it takes too much time to look for every parented layer separately. So I select the null object and right click on it. Then I just choose select children and boom. I got my layers and they're ready to be color coded. Now you may already know that Janik works as a motion designer in a video production house and there he learned the best hack ever which he shared with me and I'm gonna share with you guys. It's a must have for every After Effects user and motion designer. A plugin called Mobar Pro from Motion Ape, and they like to call themselves the Swiss army knife of After Effects. You can describe Mobar as a tool that you can customly create. It can hold your go-to effects, expressions and whatnot. These tools you can then easily place in your workspace wherever you want, making it all nice and orderly. With Mobar, you can even level up your After Effects and let it do new things it couldn't do before, like pre-composing every selected layer separately with one click. So Mobar is actually the real hacker here. In the updated version of Mobar, they switched to an extension instead of a script, making the plugin work so much smoother. Therefore, it's also much more powerful, with a bunch of animation tools such as the Bounce or the Elastic Motion tool, or the Text tools which lets you easily create text animations that normally takes ages, your workflow will speed up immensely while using the Mobar Pro tool. But that's not all, they also let you set shortcuts so much easier. Having layer tools that will make the organization and manipulation of multiple layers so much more efficient. And one of my favorites, the keyframe tools. This helps me a lot with my complex animations. With over 12 categories and over 130 tools, Mobar is the most advanced and only tool you need in your arsenal. And the best thing is that you can fully customize it to your needs at once. Or maybe the best thing is that they have a free version that you can try as well. And if you really like it, which I know you will, you can go for the pro version. It's cheaper than buying a coffee. So what's stopping you? Go check it out in the description down below. The third one, using your keyboard to switch between masks and blending modes. Let's say you're drawing a mask on a layer and want to switch the mask from add to subtract. Well, to do that you need to open up the properties of the layer and the mask. Open up the drop down menu and then switch to the wanted mask type. So while creating and holding the mask, just press the first letter of the mask type you want. So for subtract, that would be the letter S and for add, the letter A. Easy as that. And now for the blending modes, if you're like me, you sometimes doubt which blending modes to use. Well, fear not, you don't need to browse them manually, just select them and hit shift and plus or minus. This lets you browse the blending modes like a rocket. Using the create nulls from pad script is the hack number 4. If you open up the script you get a pop up window with a few options. Now they are quite self explanatory and I would encourage you to test them all out. But let's say I have this graph and I want to animate a line in it. For this line I want to make it go up and down on certain points. And I want a circle to stick to the line. Easy, with the pad selected. I choose points follow nulls. These nulls I give a wiggle expression and I also link the circle shapes to the null and voila I have an animated graph in a few seconds. But you can do so much more fun and easy animations with it. Just let the creative juices flow. By the way using expressions is the biggest hack you can use. So definitely check out the video on that and the expression cheat sheet. All links in the top corner. And for the last hack, hack number 5, the auto trace function. Yes it's an automatic masking function. Now beware. This this is a super good tool, but it has its flaws and will sometimes produce some crappy masks. But nonetheless, it can also help you save a lot of time. If you go in the layer menu in the top bar, you can then navigate to the auto trace function. This will open up a new pop up window where we can adjust some settings, like which channel you want to trace, alpha channel, or maybe the red channel, how round the corners need to be, and so on. This tool can be a lifesaver or just a pain in the ass. But hopefully, it will be the first one, the lifesaver. Now, as a bonus hack, I would recommend checking out our Patreon channel, here we post all our project files for you to download and use. And of course, there are some extras for those who want. Now if you want some more hacks, definitely check out the video here on my left, 
Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Mobar, for the support. And see you next time.